Welcome. In this video, we're going to be talking about checking if a certain date is within a month. Um, and I say within a month, it's kind of vague, but say we're looking for all of the information for this month. Um, there's a couple of ways to do that. First, we could do something using the month expression. So we're saying the month of today equals month of the date column we're looking for. This could work fine, but we gotta remember that if we're going to be tracking data for longer than a year, this becomes an issue. Uh, because if today was, or if the date received was 11, 17, 2019, this would still return true. Um, and we don't want that. We could then wrap it in an and and check if the year was the same. Um, whoops, 11, so today, I forgot the Y there, equals year date received, and this is workable. It's not my favorite way to do this um, because even, I can't think of any ed edge cases where this might not work but I prefer a different way of doing this. Uh, but this is a pretty straightforward one that I think would work for a lot of people. Um, I've just run into some troubles using month and year expressions like this in edge cases that I always forget. So let's look at another example. We're gonna use the end of month expression. So end of month expression works like this. If I put in today, I forgot the Y again happen too quickly um, it's going to return the end of month for today now I need to put in a second parameter this is going to return the end of the month given the dates in the first parameter but the second parameter needs to tell me how much I want to offset that so if I put zero it's going to look at this month so this returns the last day of this month if I say minus one it returns the last day of last month so what I can say is if, so let's throw our date in, is greater than the last day of last month, which means it's happened after, then I can throw my and expression in to say and, whoops, it moved on me, not received by, date received, I think I lost my comma there, okay, date received is less than, and I'll copy this. I'm going to say less than or equal to end of month day and if throw in an offset of zero. So here I'm saying is the date greater than the last day of last month? Did it happen after the last day of last month but before or equal to the last day of this month? Now, this is also a really helpful format if you're trying to do month to date. Month to date is going to be Basically, if you're unfamiliar, all of the information that has happened between the first day of this month and today. And if we wanted to do that, we would just say, um, and date received is less than or equal to today. And this is instead going to return our month to date value. All of the days from the beginning of the month to today. Um, so 11 1 to 11 17 inclusive this is why i like this format a little better you can fine tune it a little more if you need to change things um the other format is fine for sure uh but this is the one i like to use uh for a little bit more control um i can also do things if i want to say if i want both of them to say equal to i can add one here which will add one day and so then I'm inclusive on both sides instead of being exclusive on one side and inclusive on the other. Um, this gives me, again, a little bit more control for specific days. It's entirely possible that you don't want to include the first day of the month or the last day of the month. I've seen that um, not very often, but every once in a while. Uh, and so again, this just gives you more control. Uh, and so yeah, I hope that you found this helpful. I hope that this example um, helps show you some of the things that are possible inside of AppSheet. Thanks for watching.